Hi, my name is Vishan Boric from Team Tough, also known as the Tough Mama. And today I'm going to be teaching you how to mask and forward a domain. So I hope you're ready. And if you're not familiar with, you know, just the basics as, you know, what's a domain and things like that. A domain is your basic web address. That's your URL uh, that you use in order to send people to your website, right? So one of the things that I've found is that sometimes you have a web address that's just not attractive some long drawn out web address and you'd rather have it appear like it comes from you uh, with your own URL or domain or you'd like to use it as a subdomain. So we're going to teach you how to do that. A subdomain is a shortened version of your, your web address that you can use without the www. So for example, maybe you have a page on dogs and like for me my my main website is teamtough.com so if i have a page on dogs and i want to send people right to that page i could set up a subdomain of dogs.teamtough.com so the subdomain is the word that replaces that www so here's how you do it the first thing you need to do is actually own a domain so you need to go out to either godaddy or you can use my own site so let me flip this down here and uh, this is an example of a, a link that I want to change. But let me go to my other page. Okay, so I use a site called fiveminds.net in order to purchase and manage all my domains. It's very similar to GoDaddy. So if you've used either one, uh, this is going to be the same for you. If you're on another web host, then you just need to know some of the terms that I'll, I'll speak of as I go through this training and you should be able to look those up on your existing domain host and be able to to manage that there okay so your first step is to log in after you've purchased your domain and then go to your domain names okay so for me it's going to take me to a page like this I have several different domains that I manage and what you want to do from here is actually click on the domain that you want so I'm going to use the one Team Tough, which is my main company. So I actually click on that domain. And it's going to open up a page that has your domain details. If you are on a different browser, then what you're going to be looking for is the area that has your DNS zone files and settings. So look that up. And if it doesn't have that, then look up forwarding. That's your main area that you want to modify is the forwarding section. So right here underneath settings for teamtough.com, I have this area called forwarding. There's two sections to that. There's domain forwarding and there's subdomain forwarding. So if I go back to the link that I wanted to modify, so you'll see I've got this great page, uh, but the link is really long. It's, it's my nickname, toughmama.clickfunnels.com slash opt-in. And that's just too long of a URL. I really want it to be uh, more catered to what I have. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, copy this link. So I'm just highlighting the link at the top. Copy that. And then I'm going to go back to my domain manager. And underneath forwarding, I'd like to make a subdomain. So I'm going to click, instead of domain, I'm going to click on manage subdomain. When I do that, it's going to pop open a forwarding and masking window. From, from here, all I need to do is scroll down to the bottom. Obviously, I've used a lot of subdomains on this account, but you probably won't have any here yet. So you want to make sure that you get to the button that says Add Subdomain Forwarding. I'm going to click on that. And right here in this screen, you're going to see an area where you can make up your own subdomain. Uh, a couple of tips. You want to make sure that your subdomain is one word. It shouldn't have any spaces in there. Uh, it's preferred that you don't have any strange characters like dollar signs or number signs or things like that. So you want to just, you can put numbers in there, uh, but I usually just do all alpha characters. So for this one, I'm going to say, um, you know, yeah, I'm just going to call this one email list. So it's one word, it's kind of a longer domain. Maybe I'll just call it list, and that's a little bit shorter. I like to keep these as tight as I possibly can. So I'm gonna say list.teamtough.com. 
And then right here where it says forward to, this is where you paste in the long domain that you no longer want. So I'm going to paste that right there. And then I need to get rid of this first part. You see how it has an HTTP? For this particular domain, it has an HTTPS. So I need to change this right here to HTTPS. So you've got, make sure you, you double check that before you, you change this. And then I need to delete this. Otherwise, I'm going to have two of those, and that will break what I'm doing. Okay, there we go. So what we've got now is HTTPS, and it's got my, my link here. So you can see right up here, this is what my new web address will be. So if I want to direct somebody to the page I just showed you earlier, all i got to do is give them this web address, list.teamtuff.com. Now, here's where a lot of people get kind of messed up, and that is, what do you do with the redirect and the forwarding settings? So I have found personally that it's better to leave it on the permanent redirect. Uh, for whatever reason, it tends to work more quickly. It also tends to not take as much time for this change to go into effect. So I typically do that one. Now, down here in the forward settings, you have a couple options. You can do forward only or forward with masking. Let me explain the difference. If you choose forward only, what's going to happen is when somebody types in list.teamtuff.com, then they're going to type that in, but the second they hit return or enter, it's going to quickly flip that to this longer, uh, not as attractive address. So you know, if you're okay with that, then I would go with forward only. Another reason you might use forward only is if you primarily are going to be giving this, this new address to people that are using it on a smartphone or tablet device. And the reason I say that is because if you use the masking, oftentimes on a smartphone or tablet device, it's going to show that user the, the desktop version of the website ra rather than the mobile version. So if you want to maintain the integrity of the mobile version of your website, then make sure you don't mask your domain. You want to just forward it. I hope that makes sense. That's a little more advanced stuff, but it's, it's good to know in case you're trying to mask a domain for mobile users. All right, the, the other option, of course, is forward with masking. When you do that one, it'll never show this longer, unattractive uh, you know, address there. Instead, if I type in list.teamtuff.com, it's only going to show list.teamtuff.com no matter what pages that I go on after I've entered that address. It's not going to flip to this. This is a cleaner way to do it. It looks a lot nicer, and you don't have to worry about people thinking, oh my gosh, they're redirecting me to something I don't want to go to. Uh, you do need to fill out a little extra information if you do forward with masking, such as a title, a description, and some keywords for your site. This is just good practices, and it's going to make uh, your web address a little more friendly when people type that in into search engines. So I hope that makes sense. When you're done, you're going to click Add. So right now, I'm just going to go ahead and, and uh, type here email list, because that page is my email list. And I, I typically kind of do the same, the same for all three, just as a quick way to do this. And then you click Add. Takes a moment. Once you've done that, the next step is, of course, to click the Save button for this to take effect. And now you'll see that your request has been submitted. Changes may take a few moments. And it could take as long as a couple hours for that new subdomain address to work properly. Uh, most of the time it takes, you know, 10 to 20 minutes. So you'll go grab a refreshment and come back, and then you can test your domain, your new subdomain, and make sure it works for you. I hope you found this helpful. If so, and you like some of the stuff that you're learning on my how-tos, be sure to subscribe to my channel. That's the, the Tough Mama channel. And you also might want to check out me and my business. And you can learn more about me by going to toughmama.com and my company, teamtuff.com. Make it a great day, and we'll see you on the next video.